it's that time again. Story time with Pastor and Peep. Here is Pastor Jeremy. Well, hello there, friends. Pastor Jeremy and Peep here. Hello, everybody. And we were just talking, Peep and I, and we thought, you know, it's probably time to read another story. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the last story we read together. I really love doing this. Can't wait until we can do it again together all in person. But until then, uh, at least we can do it this way and we can share in this experience. So thank you uh, for coming and watching and listening. And today we got another story about the koala who could. Ooh, ooh, what, what's a koala? What's a koala? Do you guys know what a koala is? Koala is a very, frankly, adorable kind of animal that lives in Australia, which is a place very, 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 very far away. Um, and this is apparently a very able koala. I don't know. I haven't read the story yet. So we're going to read it together. Oh, okay. We just seem to always read books with animals in it, don't we? That's what we seem, yep, yeah, that's what we seem to do. I know. In a wonderful place where the day was just dawning and the breezes blew soft in the warm glowing golden morning, in a place where the creatures ran wild and played free, a koala called Kevin clung to a tree. A koala called Kevin. That, is that a koala name? I, you know, I don't know. I guess it is. His favorite way to relax in the sun was to cling and to nap and munch on a leaf bun. A nice gray fellow you have never would met, as soft as soft thing from ear tufts to feet. And after all this, well, he'd need a nice rest. Yes, Kevin likes sticking to what he knew best. You see, high up was safe since he liked a slow pace, while the ground down below seemed a frightening place. Too fast and too loud and too big and too strange. Nope, Kevin preferred not to move or to change. I, I wonder how that's going to work out for him. I don't know. I think change might be coming whether he wants it or not. So he clung to his tree, and he knew what to do, and was never too keen to try anything new. So when Wombat stopped by and shouted one day, Hey, Kevin! Why don't you come down here and play? Ooh, he wants to play! Um, I think, he replied, I should stay on my plant. I'm busy right now. No, I'm sorry. I can't. Why not? cried the ruse with their super loud cheer. Yes, why? called the dingoes. There's nothing to fear. But Kevin, who who'd never been one to act fast, said, I've clinging to do, but it's nice that you asked. And Kevin sat watching them clatter and share, and part of him wished he could join them down there. But he knew he'd miss home. It was so was dark and so late. The whole thing was risky. Adventure could wait. Wherever the invite, he'd always say no. Oh dear, it seemed Kevin... just couldn't let go. Oh, he's in the tree. Yep, he's in the tree. Doesn't want to let go of the tree, does he? No. But I think he's missing all the fun. You know, I think he is. So his life was the same, no matter the day. The weeks came and went, and the months rolled away. And Kevin stayed still while the world moved around until he awoke to a worrying sound. <gasps> I know. Wonder what's going to happen. Tap, tap, the sound went. 
Well, this was a blow. Tap, tapity tap. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, no! Uncling, the crowd called, which had gathered below. Leap and we'll catch you. Just let yourself go. But Kevin was scared. Let go? No, I shan't. I won't, shouted Kevin. Oh, dear, I just... I just... Just... Can't! Woof! Down came the tree, and with it was bringing Crash and a wallop, and Kevin still clinging. Oh my gosh. The, the tree fell down. I know it did. Kevin, he carefully opened one eye, and he looked at the love staring down from the sky. Then one paw by one paw, he loosened his hold. He felt springy and light and happy and bold. The worst he could think of had now just come to pass, and he was just fine. Why, he felt quite first class. So when the wombat leaned over and held his paw out, Kevin no longer felt Worry or doubt. Yeah. His friends are coming to help him. Yeah, they are. When Dingo asked, Now will you come out and play? The crowd all joined in. And with a, What do you say? And Kevin thought this wasn't part of his plan. Kevin replied, Yes, I, I, I think I can. And Kevin, from then on, was always can-do. Because life can be great when you try something new. Yeah. Do, do you guys like to try new things? Like new foods, uh, or, or new games, or, or learn new songs? Yeah, I like those things. I like to do all of those things. I especially like new foods because sometimes they're spicy or they're sweet or you just never know. It can be very exciting. Yeah, yes, it can. W would you like to try some bird seed? Well, I, I've never had bird seed. Is it, is it good? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Just don't let it get stuck in your bill. I'm like, well, I don't, I don't have a bill. Oh, th then you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, good. Well, thank you guys for joining Peep and I for story time. Uh, I look forward to doing it again. I hope you're all doing well, and we will see you soon. Thanks.